Welcome back to how to create a Zoom webinar that sells. In this video, I'll be completing our conversation about crafting and presenting and pricing your offer on your webinar. Here comes the cool part. So you, you add each piece, like here's up, you know, element number one, here's the value of that, not the monetary value, here's the, the value, the benefit of this piece that I'm adding in here, and here's the monetary value. So for example, in my offer, you're gonna get the Retreats to Riches course. This is gonna walk you through step by step exactly how to design your own retreat. The value of that is $1,000, and that I can say because I actually sold it for $1,000 when I launched it, or I still sell it for, for $1,000, right? So that's the value. And you're gonna get this other piece, you're gonna get my toolbox full of checklists for running your retreat. And the value of that is, let's call that $1,000, because I don't actually sell it, and truly the value is way, way more than that, because it's 15 years worth of experience that I've condensed down into five, checklist, right? So that, the value. And then what you want to start doing is adding it up. Okay, so you've got your Retreats to Riches course, you've got your checklist toolbox, you've got a bonus call with me, and if you add all that up, here's the number. This is the trick I learned from Dave Van Hoos. You want to take that number and you want to justify the value at that full price. So basically making a case for why at this full price, this program is actually worth it. If you make, if you do one successful retreat, right, you'll have paid back this times 10 or 20 or 30 or whatever, you could. You don't wanna make a promise that you will, you wanna say you could pay this back, right, with integrity. You make the case for it at the full amount and then and only then do you say, and the actual price will be this. And that's where you can introduce the actual bundle or package price for the whole thing all together. So that is how you, you lay out a great offer. And then the final step, and a very important step, is to actually say, well, here's what you have to do now, this is the now piece, to actually take advantage of this offer. Click this link and buy the course right now. And, and you want to consider what are the things that will make it an incentive for them to buy now? Because people's tendency will be, well, let me think about it, I'm gonna buy it later. And no, we don't wanna pressure people, absolutely. We don't want people to feel pressured. And at the same time, what we know about human nature is that no one is as committed and connected as they are in that moment. When they've witnessed this whole thing being laid out, they've gotten excited, they've seen the possibility for themselves, they wanna do it. If they're a right fit, then you want them to take action right now. And I wanna go back and say something about if they're a right fit this might be something that you actually include in the who section. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, I'll in include a slide that says who this is for, and even a slide that says who this is not for. And I do that because I do wanna make sure that the right people are investing in this. Like, I would let people know, hey, this is for you if you have an audience or you, 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 you already have a successful business. You know, it's not for, it might not be for you, if you're just getting started and you have no money to invest in a venue or marketing, right? So I would basically lay out who it's for or not for, because I would prefer not to sell it to someone that it's not gonna support, that it's not gonna be good for. So back to the now, you wanna give people a reason to act now, whether it's I only have 10 spots available or this offer will expire at the end of this webinar or you have you know 24 hours or whatever it is, and please don't lie about it. That's just it's something that a lot of people do. They pretend like this is a limited webinar, but then they're, they're doing it for months, right? Or this is my favorite at the beginning of the webinar. You act now because this webinar is gonna get taken down from the internet. They're gonna you know, make us take it down because it's such a good deal. I don't believe in using any of those tactics. I say be honest, be real, and introduce some sort of scarcity into the offer and that will help people say yes faster. I want to invite you to please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even throw me a comment below. Now the last thing I'll talk about, which maybe I should have talked about before, but I'm gonna talk about it now, is your price point. What should you sell for on a webinar? 
Now, I wish that I had for you the magic number, like, you know, the perfect price point that always works, and I just don't. I've seen price points work all across the board from $19 to, gosh, $10,000 I've seen work on a webinar. Now, what I believe is that the sweet spot lies obviously somewhere in that range. I love a price point all the way from free up until about $3,000. And that's what I've personally done effectively and successfully. So you'll wanna take in, in, into account a few things as you decide what's your price point for this offer. Let's start with the high side of things, like the $3,000 range. At that range, it's gonna benefit you, it's gonna work a lot better if these people are warm leads. If these prospects know you, like you, trust you already, you're way more likely to make a $3,000 sale. Is it impossible to make a $3,000 sale to a cold list? Absolutely not. I've certainly done it and I've seen it, but it's not the norm and it's not, in my opinion, the most effective use of your time and energy to focus on cold traffic, high ticket offer. That's just my personal opinion. And on the other hand, um, if you have a big cold audience um, and you offer a free thing, you're probably gonna get a really, really high conversion rate but you've also put a whole bunch of time and energy and attention into this webinar. Is it enough to do a webinar to make a free offer? So here's what I recommend. Most of my clients, especially if you're selling coaching programs, retreats, higher ticket items. If you're selling those higher price points and you've got a warm or even a, a cold audience, what I recommend is either a free strategy session, meaning a free conversation with you, which, be, which is an actual sales call. It's a strategy session to discover and add value and then deliver the, your recommendation, which may or may not include purchasing your program, or have them pay a nominal fee, 47, 97, maybe even 147, for that strategy call. That way you're leading people towards the next step in the sale, but you're not putting all your eggs in the webinar sales basket. People, if they have a great experience on your webinar and they wanna take the next step, they will sign up for a strategy call with you or a discovery call, and many of them will even pay for that. So that's my favorite sort of hybrid offer. That way, you're building your list with your webinar, you're getting your, your email list to grow, you're presenting your offer for your thing, and you're either giving a having the next step be a call that'll lead to a sale, or have them invest a small amount in the call that will lead to a sale. Another option, the last option I'll talk about, is what I just recently did for the first time on a webinar. It was a webinar with mostly warm contacts, people from my own list. So they'd already heard of me, they liked me, they'd been listening to me for a while. And I offered my program, my Superstar Business Breakthrough program, but I offered it in a unique way. I said, listen, I have limited time. I don't have time to talk to every single person on this webinar who might be interested. So if you're serious about working with me and investing in this program and you wanna make sure it's a right fit, then here's a link to make a deposit. It's a refundable $500 deposit for my program from that, from once you, the moment you pay that, you'll be taken to my calendar and you'll get to set up a call with me. And on that call, we'll determine if this is a right fit for you, at which point you can either pay the balance or I'll refund your deposit. And that worked really, really well. So that's another way to do it. Um, highly recommend that whatever you do though, you have them take action right there. Don't say like, hey, I hope you enjoyed this webinar. Email me if you're interested in this or follow up with me. Like you wanna give them a clear path to the next step, which is either click this link and buy something or make some sort of deposit or click this link and book a call. So that's my advice on how to create a really strong offer on your webinar. All right, I will see you on the other side on the next video where we're gonna talk about how to market and promote and fill up your webinar. I'll see you there.